update on just an injury situation? Yeah, so uh, Lodge did not practice today and neither did Ruggs. Um, I think uh, DeMarcus is a little bit of, uh, further ahead, so I'm hoping he practices tomorrow. Uh, but uh, I won't know that. Just that they have the protocol they have to go through. So we'll find out for sure on DeMarcus tomorrow. But if he doesn't practice tomorrow, then he'll probably be out. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get him back. So is Ruggs at this point? I, I would say he's doubtful. Yeah, at this point. What about Scotty? We we noticed yesterday, you know, kind of wasn't yeah, in contact. Yeah, yeah. Just is we're just okay? just precautionary. We hope so. Yeah. Right. So I think I think he's fine. But uh, we just take a precautionary measure so he doesn't take any any hits. Any, any later, is Sweeney still? I mean, I just uh, the, I was given the uh, three weeks is what I was given. Talk a little bit about Southern Illinois. What you? What yeah. You so you know, that. again, they got six turnovers in the last game, three for touchdowns. So I think uh, them scoring on defense, offensively, they do a good job of mixing personnel. So they're they're a smash mouth team, and then they'll they'll take their deep shots. They got a really big senior quarterback. They got a scat back. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Tylen, um, but he, he he can make some plays. They run some speed sweeps and some quarterback power and try to control the clock. But uh, they did a nice job in the one game that they had on tape. Assuming you guys kind of take care of business through the early part of the game, have you given much thought if, if and how you want to use Matt Corral at all? I haven't. If the opportunity presents itself, we'll we'll, we'll get it. But obviously, the focus is on us getting the win, and uh, would like uh, would like to try to get him some uh, some experience. Uh, but we have to wait till the opportunity presents itself. What have you seen out of Braylon Sanders, uh, his his advancement? Uh, just, I mean, again, what I saw, you know, he, you know, he caught that touchdown against Texas A&M last year and kind of flashed. Uh, but then, obviously, the way he stepped in last week, I just it just shows his, you know, the maturation process and how he's gotten better and better. So that was that was a big time catch on the sideline. But but it's just it's just fun to see the lineage of wide receivers, how it gets passed down. Um, just the work ethic of Dante Moncrief still showing up, you know, four and five years after he left. I think that's a, I think that's a really cool thing. No disrespect to, to your opponent this weekend, but after such a big opening weekend win, Sam, this game sandwiched in between the Alabama game, do you, do you get concerned about, uh, you know, putting that one in the trash last weekend and being focused? Well, on I, I think uh, what what we've really focused on is us us getting better and having a standard. And you know, we we didn't play our best football week one. And if we can find a way to get better at all the little things, at third downs, at red zone, there's plenty for us to go get better at, and that's what we're focused on. What are the both challenges and I guess more like fun things about turning around and preparing for an offense that's so different from what you saw last weekend? Well, I mean, I think um, I mean, we're going to play a lot of teams that get in big personnel and try to run it at us. Um, you know, last year, uh, Tennessee Martin ran it for 220 yards against us and getting these big personnel. So I'm, uh, I think it'll be a challenge and it's, it's, it's totally different. You're going from spread to seeing some three tight end sets. So uh, it will definitely be a challenge for us to stop the run. And that, then they're they're really good at mixing in deep shots off that. With them running the ball so much, how do you feel about the secondary playing against the balls that they may throw deep at some point? Yeah, they just got to be prepared. That's what makes it. That's what makes the play action so difficult to defend. Is they'll run it, run it, run it, and then take a deep shot. But that's why you have to be ready and play every every play like it's coming. Just talk about the home opener. The fact you guys are going to be able to play in front of your own fans. Or something. Yeah, that, that's something that's really, um, really special. Some of these kids, as freshmen, will be the first time for them walking through the grove and and have an opportunity to play in front of our home fans. And I'm I'm just really excited to get back in Vault Hemingway in front of our fans. And uh, you know, these we're all in this thing together, and uh, we've all kind of been through a lot. So I'm excited to keep growing together and for everybody just to uh, you know finally get back home and, and enjoy it. How do you feel about Elijah taking uh, Jalen's spot at kickoff return? Good. You know, I, he is a dynamic football player. I mean, I, I was a little nervous uh, the first punt uh, with a true freshman back there underneath the, the lights inside. But uh, he is uh, very, very confident and very, very talented. I think him and uh, Tylen both are electric when they touch the ball. So um, I'd like to hopefully see both of them back there at some point. You've said that Longo has a huge part in getting – Tom and Reddy last year to come in short notice. Mm -hmm. um, how much of that is his ability to for player management? Uh, well, I think uh, obviously he's in there teaching the offense with them every day. So, so part of it's teaching and part of it is them getting the reps. Uh, if you ever come watch us practice, you'll notice the quarterback standing behind 
going through the every play that I've never seen that done before, and it can't help but get those guys better because they not only do they get they get the reps where they're in, they get the one standing behind going through the mental rep and actually going through the actual drop and where they would throw it. So I think uh, I just think that's unique. I think he does a really good job with that. Personality-wise, Jordan and Matt are so different. Very different. Yeah. How how do you see Longo balancing those? Two? Well, I mean, that, that's that, but that's the case uh, with everybody. Is that every kid is unique. Every kid is different, and uh, but that's what makes each one of them special. And uh, so, I think uh, you know, Matt is a very very fiery competitor and a very good athlete with a, with a really really good arm. He just needs to get in there and get the experience. Have you seen Jordan's calmness rub off on Matt at all? Not yet, no. Uh, <laughs> but no, it, 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 it's, they're, they're just different players, uh, and but that, that again, they're both they're both very very special, and I'm I'm glad they're both on our team. Okay. Yep. Thank you.